the previous video we discussed uh, setting up the Starlink roof mount and uh, getting it ready for install. So in this video we're going to go through the full install of the roof mount and also the wiring. There's uh, a bunch of stuff that I messed up on, had to double work, so uh, hopefully you won't have to. So now we're on the roof where we're going to mount it. We're going to mount this somewhere in this area. And Emily's up here. She's Hi. she's a little nervous. <laughs> here you go. I think you just pry this up. And then slide that piece under. Yeah. What about the bottom of it? This? Yeah. Oh, it's supposed to stay like that. Okay. <laughs> so it says don't cut the bottom layer of shingle. So we've got the bottom layer right here and then just underneath it is the wood. So when we glue all this back together where I tore that in half we'll fix it. Okay, so all the screw holes that you saw earlier in the splashing plate, that's what we're putting these screws in. Okay, so underneath the shingles, we'll lay a bunch of this roofing sealant. And I'm just being sure to put a bunch around the screws where I screwed through the roof. So now we'll drill a little pilot hole. So if I hit a stud, we can just put some more of that sealant back on it. That looks like it's straight in the attic. Okay, can you just make 
make sure that doesn't lay down. You can take it to you if you want. So it doesn't go through. I don't know why they made it with this big like elbow on it. It makes it not want to go in the hole. And that was a one inch. Go inch and an eighth. Inch and an eighth is it. <laughs> okay. So there's a little dent right here. So I'll run the cable around the back. And it'll go in through there and that's where that little uh foam pad was Ooh. so this is that 5 16th socket and then the, oh, these little uh, screws with the grommets. We just line these holes up and they'll go in the side. Okay, and so this post is supposed to be within five degrees of vertical. Maybe I can eyeball five degrees. Okay, that's gonna be it. Are you gonna make it? Come on. I'll film in Yay, I'll film in case you fall. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was scary. <laughs> Okay, so apparently I'm gonna double work myself, do this all twice. Uh, so I drilled some unnecessarily large holes as you saw in the earlier part of the video to fit that, that 90 degree connector, which I couldn't figure out why it was so big and how you're supposed to put that through a double top plate and a wall on your framework or if you were gonna run it through the brick in the side of your house um, or even the hole that I drilled in the roof, uh, it had to be really big. so. Uh, there is apparently a connector right here and I think if this slides out you just slide this pole out and then you should be able to pull this connector out so that's what I'm gonna try and I guess really it doesn't matter if you drill a inch and three quarter hole or, or inch and a quarter hole or if it's a quarter inch hole, I guess if it's going to leak, it's going to leak. So, uh, not too upset about having a big hole. Just have to do everything twice. Oh, 
that's easy enough. So the connector just slides out like this. And then slides right back in. So this part actually lays flat so you can drill a small hole and put it through. Unfortunately, I'm just figuring that out now. Okay. So I'll just leave this here for now. Put one screw in it to hold it. So we tried to run down the wall with the cable snake and find the cable snake in that hole, but we couldn't get it. So Emily had the bright idea, which I'm glad she thought of it because I was hot and tired to come through the attic right there. And then we'll run down the wall with those fancy cable clips that they have and then run into this straight through and into the house and the router just sits on this little table in the corner of the house. So that saved a bunch of time and a bunch of sweat. So we got these plates for a little bit cleaner install. I just got to drill them out so this can fit through it. Okay, so now I have a little wall plate there with some silicone behind it so we don't get any critters in the house. Okay, so now we got the wire routed all the way up. And I'm just gonna have to get another one of these plates. I'll get the smaller one that's just the diameter of the wire. Cut it in half, put it on there, and uh, then silicone from the attic. Thank you. Well, feels like it went in good. This is my current internet provider before Starlink, and this is the fastest I've ever seen it run. Um, it's normally quite a bit slower than the speeds you're seeing here. This is the first speed test on the Starlink, literally right after it connected uh, to the satellites. This is when we ran the speed test, and it is way faster already than our previous internet. But uh, they claim over the next 12 hour period, it should get even faster as it finds satellites or however all that stuff works. This is the second test four minutes after the first test, and it's quite a bit faster. One thing we've noticed is it does go up and down 
but I think on average it's still three to four times faster on the download speeds and anywhere from five to 20 times faster on the upload speed. So definitely uh, well worth the money and the time and sweat invested in it. All right, well that's the setup, the uh, full install of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, appreciate you watching the Schmitty 750 YouTube channel.